So yeah, um, today's story is something pretty insane in my opinion. It's about something really, really weird happening in class, okay? So if you guys are wondering, will tell her what happened in class? I'm about to get into that a little bit here. Um, if you're new here and you just now seen these story times, well, I do these here and there, and they're pretty crazy stories actually. So, you know, stay tuned for more of them if some more bullshit happens. And yeah, let's get into this story time. So today's story time takes place yesterday, okay? So I wake up, brush my teeth, you know, get, get ready for school. I was late on this day. And plus I had testing, so yeah, I had a pretty shitty morning. And then, um, how my thing works, okay, for testing is like, as soon as I enter the building, I start testing. Like this is after midterms, like this is the end of the year test. So at the end of the year test, like what we do is, you know, walk straight into the building and start testing and then be done by like 9.50 or 10, 10 a.m. in the morning. And then we start our actual day and the class is like 30 minutes long. So one of the main parts of the story takes place in fourth period, okay? So in fourth period, it's like a high school readiness class. And, um, you know, we learn about like, you know, getting prepared for high school, obviously that, so when we go in there, like, we just, like, learn about, like, you know, being prepared or something for high school. So, yeah, we're just doing this class, right? This girl walks in late as fuck to class, like, five minutes late. And then the teacher yells out, hey, you're late. You have a pass? And then she was like, no. And then she goes, sits um, down. And the teacher, like, at my school, the teachers don't really give a fuck, really, and just let people be late to class. And then, like, if they be late five times, like, you know, they get written up. So yeah, that's what goes around in my school. So she just sits down, right? I'm not really, I'm just minding my own business at this point. We're just doing my work and stuff. And then, you know, this, this kind of like rainbow thing, like she pulled it out of her pocket, kind of caught my eye a little bit. I was just like, why well, she got a remote in class or some, sh some sort of like that, that stuff like that. I don't know why it's twist my tongue right there, but um, she had this controller, right? I thought she had like a race car in class and she was just about to make like a disturbance, but like, you know, she just starts like playing with this remote or some shit. And then I was just kind of confused because like, I thought she just brought a dead remote to class or some shit. And then she just playing with it. And then I kind of started noticing like, you know, what's actually going on. So I started looking at her face and stuff. And then she was like making these like weird, like, you know, grins and stuff. Like she's like moaning or some shit. And then, like, she's, like, saying, like, you know, it hurts to laugh or some shit. And then, like, she's, like, playing with this remote, like, repeatedly. And she's making, like, weird noises, like, ah, like, some shit like that. And then it clicked in my head. Holy shit, no fucking way she's doing this in class. She's really using, like, a remote control, you know, thingy. Put it inside of her and started playing with it in class. If you know what I mean by that, you know. So yeah, after finding that out and realizing, I just like looked the other way the entire class because I feel like I'm like scared she's like fucking squirt on me or some shit. <laughs> I was being like a dumbass that day, so I was just like scared she's gonna like fucking squirt on me or something like that. So I just turned the other way, just tossed my friend next to me the whole time in class and not mention anything about it or cause a scene or anything. So I get to my eighth period class. Don't worry, the fucking story doesn't end there, okay? So I guess the eighth period class, right? So you know, I'm just talking to my friends, you know, doing work because we're in science class and we have like a digital listener or some shit we're, we're just working on. And then, you know, I'm just talking to my friends and stuff like that. And then somebody shouts out, yo, Jaden, your new video is fucking awesome. Can't believe you guys are around 100 on, you know, tagged your tone. And then I was just like, uh huh, th thank you. And then the teacher was just like, Jaden, you have a YouTube channel? And I was just nodding my head, like, I didn't even make a noise, I was just nodding my head. Oh shit, look at that fucking strafe. But anyway, back, back to the story. <laughs> I don't know why I was talking about the gameplay for a second, but back to the story. So I was just like, you know, I already got exposed for having a YouTube channel in class, and I just seen some shit that completely traumatized me, so I'm just done for today. And I just said fuck it, and just put my head on my desk, so the bell rang. And yeah, I went home and went, went to bed because... I was just completely fucking weirded out. I thought it was in some fever dream because, like, how much weird shit was happening today. So, yeah, that's the end of the story right there. So, yeah, if there's a moral of the story in today's video, it's just don't do weird shit in class, okay? 
to my older viewers out there, you know what I mean by that. Please don't do weird shit in class. Wait till you get home, or just don't do it at all. It's just terrible if you do that stuff. And yeah, that's basically it, kinda. So yeah, like the video if you're new, subscribe, sign up post notifications, comment some more zombies challenges below for me to do in the next video. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, and please don't beat the fuck out of me, whoever was doing that weird shit in class.